Hello to the Nathan Rock PlayStation Nation here, talking to you guys over another episode of How to Twitch, the series where I show you guys anything and everything relating to streaming on Twitch. Uh, so pretty much this episode, so we did a bunch of episodes in the past where we've gone over things like uh, donation pages, Twitch alerts, the things like, you know, how to how to collect donations, how to do things along the lines of setting up T-Board, and, uh, you know, how to set up OBS. OBS being the software that I choose to use, even though there is alternatives like XSplit and whatnot, showing you guys everything and everything. So this episode is going to be specifically about overlays. This is by far one of the most requested episodes that I've had, and I wanted to make sure, for me, it seemed like overlays were a very simple thing to do and I wanted to make sure that uh, whatever people find most difficult about doing their own overlays uh, I, I answer those questions for you guys so for those of you who want to make overlays one of the main softwares that you will almost always need to have is going to be Photoshop guys this is this this is the software that I've been using you know throughout all of high school throughout all of post-secondary this is the software I've been using for several years and I've become very comfortable with it is a professional grade software I use Photoshop CS6 uh, you guys can go about getting you know the creative cloud suite which can be a little bit cheaper you guys can go through alternative methods uh, of online that may or may not involve you actually paying for the software if you guys want a free alternative I hear GIMP is pretty good so if you guys want to use GIMP uh, that's like a free photo editor Again, I cannot vouch for how easy it is to make overlays for your stream, but this is uh, sort of what I use. Now, um, pretty much all the I have a ton of different overlays that I use so you know I have my pending overlays that I've made I have my uh, stream my original stream template this is what my streams originally looked like moving over to now you know uh, my next one a little bit more advanced as you guys can see uh, then moving on to uh, this one which is an alternative to this one where I can play UHC and none of my chords will show up uh, one of the things I've had to do was I had to actually get a screenshot of my in-game you know my HUD and everything so that I know exactly Exactly where to cover up um, so I did that I actually had to do that a couple times to verify and then finally you know my most recent uh, my most recent version of this where I, if I scroll down I, I can you know you, I use that same screenshot to verify that uh, that uh, again this wouldn't uh, this would indeed cover up my chords and it's a much more simple refined look I really do like the uh, you know the clear simple look rather than you know kind of the the very technical bordered look around everything so uh, I do like this one but anyway so pretty much how do you go about actually making these things well first of all you're gonna want to go file and new and you're gonna want to open up something that is going to be in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio so I make all of my things now I, pr I, pr I do everything that I do with YouTube at 4k resolution default 4k resolution just for the cases where if I eventually do need to go about recording in 4k and and uploading in 4k I can do that now for you guys you guys are definitely going to want to do 1920 um, by 1080 guys so 10 80. That is a 1080p resolution, 16 by 9, and uh, I always do 300 resolution. That, again, is not a requirement. Most people, for print ads and stuff like that, you're going to want to do 72, uh, or 71, 72. Uh, I'm going to do, again, 300. All it's going to do is increase file size. As you guys can see, this is going to be 6 megabytes. If I were to do 72, it's going to be uh, a lot less than that, and it, I guess it only updates when I, when I change it, but yeah, 300 versus 72 uh, and then you can you guys can pick your color profiles if that really matters to you you guys are gonna want square pixels uh, and then your color depth again if you're streaming 8-bit is good enough uh, and uh, make sure this is pixels per inch guys pixels per inch not per centimeter and make sure these are centimeter or these are pixels not inches centimeters picas all that sort of stuff um, and yeah so anyway once you're gonna make that you're gonna want to also name it so you're gonna want to name it something so you guys can do uh, stream overlay demo so once you guys create that boom it's going to give you this guy so what you guys are wanting to do right off the bat is you guys want to make a new layer by hitting this new layer button you guys are want to delete this and boom now this is your new layer so as you guys can see from here it is pretty much all up to your own creativity in figuring out exactly what you guys want so you guys can do things like you know for this this guy right here was actually made in cin or in cinema 4d so what i can do is i can actually take this i can move this over here drop it in and boom there is where you know my name is going to be I did this in cinema 4d so again this isn't going to be a tutorial showing you guys that but if you guys don't have cinema 4d you guys can do something along uh, these lines dr. PlayStation there we go we can select a font size and do something like maybe uh, 72 uh, 50 let's try 30 boom that's perfect uh, and then we're going to select it again maybe make it you know like a 
uh, a light blue or something similar. So like a baby blue or like a sky blue right there, boom. And then we can add some effects to it if we would want to. So, you know, you guys can add a uh, very simple drop shadow, makes it look a lot better. Uh, spread it out, maybe make the size a little bit less. Add a stroke. And, you know, very simple to do these sort of things, guys. So add a stroke right there. Going to reduce the size a little bit. Maybe add a little gravi a gradient overlay right there. Screen and boom there we go so we just made you know some more some more text for uh, our little guy right here and as you guys can see i do have two layers here so i actually have two layers and what i did there was i simply wanted to make it a little bit more animated a little bit more dynamic so if i do this i can actually uh duplicate this layer here and then i can uh, i'm going to rasterize type and then rasterize layer style and then filter blur uh, motion blur right here and then boom like that and then BAM I just I just I just did that and now it looks a lot more professional than what I originally did uh, as far as the this guy here having these you know little overlays as you guys can see so if I were to want to do something like this I can very simply make it a new layer grab a marquee tool like so say I wanted it to be in this location uh, all I would need to do is then do something like get your get your paint bucket key you know do that uh, again add some more effects change it up a little bit um, you guys can add various texts so you know you can be donators like so make it whatever color you guys would like it so again I'm not going to focus too much on this because we are already a decent amount into this video and let's scale that down a little bit and like so and then after you guys do all of those various things, add everything that you guys would want on this sort of HUD area. You guys could even make this, you know, a, a little banner here, like so. Add, you know, various things like your Twitter and whatnot that you guys would like on that sort of stuff. And uh, and yeah, you guys can you guys can do that sort of thing. And um, just going to create an overlay here, make it look a little bit better. And then we can do a multiply. Let's reverse that, and then. So boom, right there. We just made a fracking cool looking, you know, little overlay, except for that donators on the bottom. That donators actually looks really bad, but eh, whatever. So yeah, there we go. Boom, we just made our little overlay here for you guys. And uh, when we want to save that, the most important thing is what you guys want to do is you guys are going to want to do save for web or uh, alt shift control S. So if you guys do alt shift control S, it'll open up a save for web window here. And then what you guys are going to want to save it as is PNG 24. You guys are going to hit save and that's going to open up uh, your, your little folders here. So PC build guides, I'm going to do uh, I'm going to go to my how to twitch folder that's going to have all my thumbnails that I have here but I'm going to open up a new folder I'm going to call that demo like so and then from there I will be able to do uh, demo and I'm going to do stream overlay demo it's automatically going to name it what we named it earlier boom there we go and then from there all you guys are going to need to do is go into your OBS right here you guys are going to want to right click add add an image like so so you're gonna add image uh, stream overlay like so you're gonna want to browse and then you're gonna navigate to that particular folder so here we go we are going to go and go to what did I call it uh, it was in the how to twitch folder correct boom and then we're going to go to demo and then boom we're gonna open up this guy click OK and because we saved it as a PNG specifically a PNG 24 um, what uh, has happened is it's actually saved it with an alpha channel and the alpha channel is that uh, invisibility that's why like you guys can see my cursor right now because it's invisible um, because that white that we saw there the checkerboard pattern uh, will not show up here so that's kind of how you guys are going to make that and how we're going to make this now what a lot of people I'm assuming uh, had questions about because I you know I asked you guys what exactly you want to know about is how you guys are going to add text how you guys are gonna actually add these texts that will show you know your top donators how you guys are gonna add text for you know your your followers and stuff like that and I have shown those before so if you guys want to check out um, my various other videos in the how to twitch playlist the link will be in the description for you guys to actually show uh, how to do the follower thing how to actually do the donator thing is going to be through stream tip alerter when you install stream tip alerter it's actually going to add uh, some text files into a folder that you you can choose so my folder is in my documents and it's gonna add uh, a bunch of these text files and then all you guys will need to do is add you guys are going to add a text thing and that's going to be you know donators like so and then all you guys will need to do is you're going to use from a file you're going to browse you're going to go to your documents going to go to your 
uh, Twitch, here we, or stream tip, stream tip, that's what I meant. And then you're going to go tip list recent, boom. And then you guys are going to use custom text extents right there. You might want to use an outline as well if you guys want to. And then uh, you guys are going to need to pick uh, what size you want this to be. So usually you want this size to be much higher than the other one. So you guys can make that something like 250 and then hit OK. And boom, as you guys can see, we are going to hit edit scene. And uh, you guys will see this on screen. You guys will see, you know, Officer M is the first one so you guys can do things like that you guys can uh so using cust uh, sorry we're going to have to pick another option which is wrap there we go scroll mode scroll to left boom sorry about that guys i had to exactly figure out what the option was and it was actually scroll speed so you have to change your scroll speed to actually be something so as you guys can see now it is going to be moving across the screen and you simply need to use just your edit scene and be able to set that up in a way where it's going to fit with whatever you want so the stream overlay says donators and this will you know go there you guys can change all of your various other options surrounding that so you guys can go about doing that yourself and customize that but that is the basics that you guys need for that um, and yeah, so anyway, that is how you guys are gonna do overlays again Like I showed you there's lots of things that you guys are gonna do this You know my very first overlay is nowhere near as professional looking as uh, you know my most recent uh, overlay so it, this I personally believe actually it looks a lot better But uh, you know you guys will get better using softwares You will get better and that sort of thing There's tons of overlays that you guys can find online and all that sort of stuff So anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy make sure you guys slam that like button down below I should probably take off this overlay here But uh, make sure you guys slam that like button down below subscribe join the nation for more how to twitch videos Check out the playlist in the description for all other videos uh, about how to twitch and all that other cool stuff But uh, anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy I'm the doctor, and I'm out. Bye.